hey guys welcome back today we are looking at how to model an umbrella so i'll show you some one or two references of an umbrella and then we take it from there so in order to model the umbrella we are looking at modeling the the frame of the umbrella that's the poles that you can find within the actual fabric of the umbrella so we are going to model one of these poles and one of the vertical of the horizontal poles and then use it to generate the rest of the poles for the umbrella and take it from there so yeah so that, that's the first thing we are going to do so in rhino we can expand our front view and then select the control point curve to and then draw a side or one of the poles of the umbrella like so so after drawing you need to duplicate this line the essence of that is we are going to use the duplicate line to generate the canopy or the fabric of the umbrella when we are done with the frames so in order to duplicate you can press and hold the alt key on your keyboard and then use this green arrow drag it up to duplicate the curve if you don't have the these controls you can enable it by clicking on the gumball here at the bottom of the interface now that we have these two lines we are going to pipe this line the line under or the main line that we duplicate so we are going to pipe it to get the actual pull of the umbrella so you can select it and when you select it it will turn to a yellowish color now select it and type pipe in the command and hit enter so when you hit enter you get this small line attached to one end of your curve this line is used to determine the radius of your your pipe so and note that the pipes in the umbrella are very tiny so you have to take note of the radius for the pipe now i will determine the radius here click on it when you click on it the line will snap to the other end of the curve determine the radius there also click on it and then press enter so when you press enter you can you can delete the line that we use for the pipe it's no it's no more needed so you can delete it and leave the pipe object so when you click this is what you are going to get you see that your object will be piped and now instead of it instead of the line we can now have it piped and in 3d now we are going to draw the horizontal pose that holds these pipes in position so with that you can use the polyline to select it and then expand the front view and draw a horizontal line to draw it to be attached to the 
Escape, type that we do click and then accept it. Now we are going to pipe this line also. So type in pipe in the command, determine the radius. Note that the pipes are very tiny. So the radius should be small. Determine your radius and press enter. Now delete the line, which is no more needed. And you should get something like this. Now the next thing we are going to do is to revolve the two objects we've drawn now to get the other um, sides of the pipe. So you can simply select both objects by holding shift like so or you can just select the two of them and then type group type group in the command and press enter and your objects will be grouped now you should have something like this good now you can expand your top view select your objects and then so the object should be selected like this expand your top view go to transform select array and select polar from the array drop down now from the command is saying center of polar array so the center of polar array is going to be zero so press zero on your keyboard and hit enter when you hit enter it's going to ask number of items so the number of items is the number of uh, poles we have we want in our umbrella so in this case i'm going to use 12 poles so you type in 12 and then press enter so when you press enter the command is going to change to angle to fill or first reference point so the first reference point is going to be at the end of our pole here so you can zoom in press shift to snap your line to the x axis and then click on the very end of the pool so when you click the command will change to second reference point now the second reference point is going to be 360 so you type in 360 and then hit enter so when you hit enter you see that your Poles will be split into 12 like so now press enter to accept so you should have something like this that's the frame of the umbrella now the next thing we are going to do is to generate the fabric on the umbrella so in order to do that again we can expand our, our top view and then go to select the polygon to so when you select the polygon to in the command you read center of inscribed polygon but before we tackle the center of the inscribed polygon we have to select the number of size in the bracket so when you point on the number of sides it's going to turn into a blue color click on it and then it will expand into the number of side command now since we used 12 number of posts in drawing the umbrella we must also use a uh, 12 here because it should be the same number 
the fabric is going to rest on this post so the same number must be used for both the fabric and also the post and in this case we are using the polygon to generate the fabric so we are going to use 12 as we used for the post so type in 12 and press enter when you press enter the command is going to return to the actual command so now center of inscribed polygon is going to be zero so type in zero and then hit enter when you hit enter you are going to get this polygon with 12 sides and the command is saying center of polygon so the center of polygon you are going to bring the polygon to the end of the pipe on the x axis that's the red line hold shift to snap it and then click at the very end of it and your polygon will be drawn like so so now you can come back to the perspective view and you can see that what we have here yes so now let's generate the plot now in order to generate the plot we are going to use the real revolve to do that so you go to surface and then select real revolve from the menu when you select it the command says select profile curve so the profile curve is the curve that we duplicated in the beginning of the tutorial now that's the profile curve so select it when you select it the command will change to select real curve the real curve is going to be the polygon that we drew so you select the polygon when you select it again the command is going to change to start of real revolve axis so the start of real revolve axis is zero so you press zero and then you hit enter when you hit enter there will be this line snapping to the intersection of the z and the x axis now the command is saying end of real revolve axis so the end you can expand your front view and then bring your line slightly above or anywhere above the model we have at the moment and hold shift to snap your line and click so when you click it's going to automatically generate the cloth on the umbrella like so so this is what you should get in the perspective view now we have our umbrella the only thing left to do is to make the handle and then we are good to go so let's create our handle well the handle i think is something that we can do if you have been following the tutorial so what we are going to do is we are going to create um we can either create a line and then pipe it or we can simply come to this toolbar the box expand it and then select the cylinder tool so when you select the cylinder tool you can draw the base of the cylinder here right in the middle of the umbrella so you draw and then you come to the front view to determine the height of it so let's say this is the height that we are looking for and you should get something like this now this is not attached to the actual umbrella so you have to move it up to get it attached to the actual umbrella and it looks very tiny so you can increase it with these controls by holding shift 
and then using this box control to expand expand it then we can adjust the height okay so you should have something like this so i think we can call this a complete umbrella but if you want to spice things up you can create the uh, the handle for the umbrella which some are curved and others are straight so let's go with the straight uh, the curved handle now we can zoom in the front view and then select our control point curve to and draw a line here so we are going to pipe this line to get a handle like so yes okay now once you get this you can simply type pipe in the command press enter sorry type pipe in the command and then determine the radius for the handle at this end and also at this end and then press enter when done and now you can see that uh, handle is created and piped at the end and we have a umbrella modeled and completed you can spice things up once again by adding the extra details if there are some knots here and also the small the tiny details in the umbrella that you can it's the same process as we used for the frames so you can do that draw one of them and then revolve it to get the others but basically this is how the umbrella is modeled so you should get something like this yep so guys don't forget to subscribe and like the video and let me know if you are having any challenges modeling or if you have any question you can just leave it as a comment in the comment section and i'll go through it and address it and also let me know the next thing you want us to model yeah